Welcome to the gym at Austin. This is the Next Level Urgent Care Countdown to Tip-Off Show. The biggest girls basketball game of the season, without a doubt. It's going to be filled at capacity, and it's time to talk with Jasmine Brewer, the head coach of the Lady Canes. And first of all, I want to tell you I did some research on this, and I looked at the three teams that have defeated you, and they have a combined record of 87 and 10. So that is, that's pretty proud. It's a it's a source of pride, I would have to think, that only the teams that have looked like they have a chance to be the best of the best have beaten you, and I know that you think your team has a chance to be the best of the best. Sure. What's going to be the key for winning today? Man, so, you know, they, there's so many keys, but if I had to narrow it down is, number one, we have to play together the entire game and make sure that we don't allow the moment to get bigger than our team. Um, and, and the next key I'd say is rebounding. Austin's a very good rebounding team. They have two forwards that both average between eight and nine rebounds a game, and that's a lot. I mean, that's almost 20 rebounds um, just with two players. And then we have to defend. My, my team's identity is defend, rebound, run. And so that's something that I always expect for us to do is give that effort and then offensively be patient, be in attack mode, and let's get to the foul line. When you faced the Austin Lady Bulldogs on January the 6th, I was broadcasting another game on VibeFortBend.com. I did see some highlights on the, the Todd Freed H-Town High School Sports Show. It was a very low scoring game, 26 to 23. You had a chance to put a ball in the basket and tie it at the end, it didn't happen. So do you expect a similar game where we have such a low score tonight? Absolutely. I mean, both of our teams, in my opinion, are, are two of the top defensive teams in the city. And so, you know, we, our girls work super hard defensively. They know their assignments. They're physical. And so I, I expect for it to be the exact same, a dog fight and, and a physical battle. We're talking with Jasmine Brewer, head coach of the Hightower Lady Hurricanes. And this is not really a question, but you can react to it if you want. It's just an observation. I love a game between two high-quality teams where, honestly, I don't think any girl on your squad or any girl on her squad thinks they're going to lose tonight. Mm -hmm. So how can you uh, elaborate maybe on that type of attitude? This is an awesome uh, game for Fort Bend ISD. I mean, we have such talented girls. We have talented programs. We have very well-groomed coaches. And so I, I love the fact that I get to coach against Coach Dickerson. She's done such a great job building the Austin program up. She's also a good friend of mine, one of my sorority sisters as well. So I have a lot of respect for her. And then, you know, being able to be at my alma mater, where I have so much history here at Hightower, going to state in 2010, um, this is my home. And so to be able to help lead these girls to a moment like this after being here for three years is a dream come true. So I'm just taking it all in, and we plan to go out there and, and have some fun. You know, the shame of it is somebody has to lose, but the best thing about it is everybody's going to be playing next week. So no matter how this one comes out, I think Hightower and Austin are both going to be very difficult to beat in the playoffs. So good luck tonight and good luck in the next ball game. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. We'll hear from LaQuisha Dickerson, head coach of the Lady Bulldogs, when we return on VibeFortBend.com. This is the Next Level Urgent Care Countdown to Tip-Off Show. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome back to the Next Level Urgent Care Countdown to Tip-Off Show. It comes down to this. Austin and Hightower, their girls teams both at 14-1 and one in district play. I'm very excited about this ball game. I know that LaQuisha Dickerson, head coach of the Bulldogs, is also. And let me just ask you about something regarding rankings. Do you girls, do your girls uh, know about the rankings and who's ahead of whom and that kind of stuff? And if, if not, if so, does it matter to you? What rankings? Texas Association of Basketball coaches the weekly top 25. No, no, we don't. We don't keep track of that. We just, I mean, 
We, we just worry about us. We're, we're young in this um, success arena. So my kids don't understand what that means. And um, I heard the great Kara Lawson say uh, a few weeks ago uh, on TV that um, the number that's in front of your name doesn't dictate the amount of um, a wins or losses you have, right, or how good your team is. And so um, I've tried to not worry about what our record is. Um, each game for me is a big game. Um, um, I, I want to be, you know, be on top at the end of every single game. So um, I don't think they – they don't talk about it. I don't hear them talking about it. So I don't think they really pay attention to it, and I don't pay attention to it. I don't – unless somebody calls me and tells me what we are or sends me a congratulatory text for being ranked in the, um, uh, in the state and in the, the area, um, I, I have no idea. Now, when Hightower comes out on the floor, I'm pretty – I'm just guessing that – that you know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. They know what you're going to do. I don't think there are new wrinkles that, can, that you can add really too many of them scheme-wise. Am I right? Right. Um, for us, we're just going to focus on us. I mean, that's been our MO this entire season is for us just to focus on us and what we do and how we play the game. And so, I mean, today we're not going to do anything different than we did the first time that we played them or the last game that we played. I mean, obviously we have a personnel game plan um, that we want to try to stick to, but um, at the end of the day, um, uh, we're, we're not going to alter what we do because of who we're playing. Playing, um, we're going to do what, what, what's got us here. And what's got us here is sticking to our game plan, playing to our strengths, um, trying to counter some of the things that they do, and that's, that's the game plan today. Well, this is just a delicious game for me mm -hmm. because I love a game where you have two high-quality teams and neither one thinks that they're going to lose. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be intense. It's going to be outstanding. And, of course, uh, there's one more good thing, and that is that whoever comes out on the losing end tonight, it's not – like all is lost, right. we're still going to the playoffs, yes. but I know this number one seed is important to you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, that is LaQuisha Dickerson. We're ready to go from peaceful, bucolic Pheasant Creek. This is the home of the Austin Bulldogs, and this is the game everyone's been waiting for. If you follow girls basketball, we'll be right back. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Ow to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUC APP to 313131 for Next Level Urgent Care. All right, welcome into the gym at Austin. The place is jam-packed. Every seat will be filled, and this is for the top seed in District 26A girls basketball. Starting for the visiting Hightower Hurricanes, Kylie Bourgeois foliaki Chandler Preston Caver, Jaya Johnson, Tiana Coulter-Hill, and Madison Bob. Nobody from Hightower was missing last time when Austin won 26-23 that was on January 6th at Hightower. Nobody um, was missing from the Hightower lineup, but they feel like they have, what they've done is they've found their identity and that they feel like this is going to be their night. So Austin thinks the exact same thing. The Austin Bulldog girls wearing their home whites with black letters and numerals trimmed in red. Hightower in the road black uniforms with the white numerals and there's trimmed in forest green. Austin is on a four game win streak. They score 60 points a game. Andrea Sturdivant is their main player. 15.3 points per game, 4.2 assists, 4.5 steals, and she shoots 74% from the free throw line. Austin is gonna be going from left to right here in the first half. Both teams 14 and one, and I've got some stuff about rankings that's pretty amazing. The only teams that Hightower has lost to this year are ranked teams. That includes Austin. It includes a loss to Pearland, which was a regional finalist last year, and also Barbers Hill, which is in the top 10 in Class 5A. And here we go, Kalechi DK is gonna jump center for the Austin Bulldogs to start this game off. 
She taps it to Andrea Sturdivant. Sturdivant between the rings, almost lost the dribble and had to run it down. She gets it off to DK, who is on the right wing, long way from the basket. Now makes a dribble drive, turns around and goes back out, looking to get it into Sturdivant's hands. Here comes the defense, and she gets it in the hands of Manal Youssef. And it's a steal by Hightower. There goes Madison Bob, but she lost it. Sturdivant has it for Austin. To the top of the key, sends it over to the left corner. Inside for India Jackson, and the ball is knocked out of bounds by Hightower. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki almost made a steal, but when she bounced the ball, it bounced on the baseline. So Sturdivant will throw it in for the Bulldogs from the basket to our right, India Jackson. All the way around the horn they go, Manal Yusuf. Now it's in the hands of Amina Dixon. Dixon, side to side dribble, looking for something from the left wing. Throws it to DK near the top of the key. She makes a move to the right elbow, back into the paint, spins. Kicks it back out to Yusuf. Yusuf can't find a shot. Gets it into the hands of Sturdivant. Guarded by Jaya Johnson. Sturdivant dribbling over to her left. Now there goes Samina Dixon all the way to the rack. Off the glass and no good. DK grabs the rebound. Her put back try is no good. But India Jackson gets the rebound. Kicks it back out to Sturdivant. Now it's over in the left corner. There goes Amina Dixon toward the free throw line. She backs out, still dribbling. The atmosphere is at a fever pitch. Yusuf gets it to Sturdivant. And now we have a whistle. And I'm not sure if that's a timeout or what, but we have played a furious one minute and 11 seconds. It seems like longer than that, and maybe that's because there is a clock issue. Oh, I think it was to fix the possession arrow, which now favors Hightower the next time we have a held ball. Yusuf inbounds it to DK. DK holds the ball over her head, now drives down the left side of the lane, backs in, backs in, can't find anything. Madison Bob on her, now back out to Sturdivant. Austin really has not been able to find but one shot. The other two were putback tries. There goes Dixon, hands it off to Sturdivant, looking for a pick, meets a double team. Dixon thought about the three, moves to her left, launches the three, and it's no good. Rebound comes down to Hightower. Jaya Johnson grabs it, and she walks it across the timeline as Austin does not press, at least not yet. 6.13 to go in the first quarter. Nobody has scored. Chandler Preston Caver has the ball. Looking for a pick, dribbling to her left. Nia Reed is now in the ball game for Hightower. There goes Jaya Johnson, left side of the free throw line, had the ball poked away, but it's picked up by Nia Reed. Nia Reed inside off the glass and good. The visitors from Hightower draw first blood. Andrea Sturdivant splits two defenders with her dribble, pulls up near the top of the key. Hightower fans think she traveled, but she got away with it. DK has the ball, drives right baseline, back and in, and Madison Bob turns her away. Now they go back to the perimeter with Sturdivant. Yusuf has it, now hands it back to Sturdivant. Sturdivant calling out a play. I don't know how she can do that in here. It is so loud. There goes Dixon into the paint. Florida with the right hand, no good. Knocked out of bounds by DK of Austin, and Hightower will get it back, leading two to nothing. Everybody here is getting to know each other very well. We are tightly packed like sardines or like bulldog puppies at the shelter. Now Hightower moving up the floor and this time Austin does press. There is a triple team on Jaya Johnson and finally a held ball. So Hightower will get to keep the basketball. By the way, it is nice and warm in here and LaQuisha Dickerson, the head coach, whatever long sleeve top she was wearing over her blouse, she's lost that already. Jaya Johnson to the forecourt for Hightower. There goes Nia Reed driving toward the right elbow, poked away by India Jackson and the ball goes out of bounds. Hightower will keep it. They lead two to nothing. We played two minutes and two seconds. And for those of you in Rio Linda, that means there's 4.58, correction. We have played, I, I must be from Leo Linda. Uh, we have played three minutes and two seconds. And so that means we have five minutes, uh, four minutes and 58 seconds. Quick inbounds pass and a shot up no good by Kylie Bourgeois-Foliaki. 
Rebound to Austin. Here goes Sturdivant near the top of the key. Stops. Now Dixon. Three from the left side. Off the rim and then bounces on top of the backboard. And so that means it'll belong to Hightower. That's like the ball going out of bounds. Last touched by Austin. Austin needs to find some points in the paint, but they have not been able to do that thus far. They haven't been able to find any points, period, but they haven't been able to find the shots they want. Madison Bob brings it into the forecourt for Hightower. Spins inside the paint, in and out, no good. Rebound, fought for, and India Jackson grabs it. Gets it to Sturdivant. Austin pushing it down the floor, trailing two to nothing. We're almost halfway through the first quarter. There goes Amina Dixon across the top of the key and dribbling into the left corner, still dribbling, gets the ball to DK. DK looking for someone to pass to, holding the ball over her head, dribbling to her right, guarded by Alana Narocker. There goes DK, moving to her right, pulls up near the right corner. Now there goes Dixon inside, her layup is no good, but she draws a foul and she will go to the line. Hightower fans can't believe that a foul was called. By the way, I need you to pray for me tonight because I didn't bring my AC adapter. And as a result, I don't know if my laptop's going to make it all the way through this broadcast. First free throw, in and out, no good by Amina Dixon. She will get one more. She is a 66% free throw shooter. She also shoots 35.3% from three-point range, and that's why she is not shy about taking those shots. Dixon second free throw is off the back iron, no good, but DK grabs the rebound and the Bulldogs keep it. Still two to nothing. The first time these two teams met, Austin won 26-23. This one might be just as low scoring. There goes Sturdivant into the paint, puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound Jaya Johnson of Hightower. The Lady Canes being very stingy. I'm gonna have to stand on a chair. Now to the top of the key, there is Nia Reed looking for a shot, almost lost her dribble. Went back to pick it up and gets the ball in the hands of Jaya Johnson. Jaya gets it to Madison Bob, trying to make a move on DK in the paint, fade away off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound DK for Austin. Here comes DK all the way down there by herself, puts it up and good, we're tied. Two to two. And a timeout taken by Austin. We'll take it with him. This is VibeFortBend.com. 316 to go in the first. So the other day I bought an extremely chatty. Boring story time. <clears throat> Make that an extremely catty cockatoo. You're welcome. Apparently the pet store won't take it back. But hey, I'll manage. I love that for you. Just like I manage without home internet. No, you don't. Sure, my mobile hotspot is slow and makes streaming shows unbearable. Oh, but he likes to stream. But I'm making do. Oh no, who's this? <laughs> my lady friend. It's mating season, duh. No home internet? It's not that bad. No, 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 not there. It is that bad. Don't settle. Get Xfinity Home Internet for just $19.99 a month for one year with a free streaming box. Call, click, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. After 12 months, regular rates apply. Offer ends 221-23. We are back, and Hightower brings the ball into the court. Austin has only pressed one time as Hightower has tried to move the ball down the floor. Chandler Preston Caver dribbling to her left. Guarded by Dixon, now sends it to the top of the key to Madison Bob. Bob moves to the right, puts up a wild shot. DK defending her. The shot is no good, but the ball goes out of bounds. Last touched by the Bulldogs, and Hightower keeps it, inbounding the ball underneath the basket at which they're shooting. And now we have a substitution. Yesterday on the phone, Coach Jasmine Brewer said she'd make a lot of uh, substitutions. Brianna Shelby just came into the game and she replaced Madison Bob. Now the ball is loose. DK picks it up. Dogs get a steal. DK all the way to the hoop and she is fouled as she puts it up. The shot is no good. They're going to call 
Jaya Johnson for the blocking foul. 2.44 to go in the first. Kalechi DK looking at the rim, taking a big deep breath. Here comes the first of her two shots in the air and no good. Second shot coming next. DK spins it. Second free throw is, wait a minute. It was no good, but evidently the Hightower fans are asking why she's getting three tries, but that one would not have counted had it gone in. Okay, this is the real second try, and it's good. The dogs lead for the first time, three to two. Both teams 14 and one in district play coming into this game. And the winner tonight gets the top seed in the playoffs that start early next week. There goes Chandler Preston Caver making her move, putting it up over India Jackson and India Jackson got her on the arm. A foul for one of the Bulldogs, two most important post players. India Jackson with 9.3 rebounds and Kelechi DK gets 9.5 per game. She leads the team. It was a shooting foul. And the first shot up and good by Chandler Preston Caver. She'll get another one. Now, folks, I guess I need to tell you my plan just in case we run out of juice on the laptop. Second free throw good and Hightower is ahead again. Chandler Preston Caver made both of them. Hightower pressing Austin, but somehow the dogs get it across the line. Sturdivant, side to side dribble, meets a double team. Top of the key, DK now underneath to Jackson. Inside, little baby hook, no good. Rebound Hightower as Madison Bob grabs it and she heads down the floor. She wants to go coast to coast, but now she turns around a few hundred feet from the shore. Jaya Johnson drives down the baseline, throws a pass deflected and stolen away by the dogs. Nice job by Madison Bob to keep Sturdivant from streaking down the floor. But somebody for Hightower committed a foul and it is Jaya Johnson who broke a rule in the process of impeding the progress of Andrea Sturdivant. Yusuf throws it in to Sturdivant. We are under two minutes to go in the first quarter. Four to three, Hightower on top. Now it's Amina Dixon, far side. Sends it to the top of the key to Yusuf. Now Dixon gets it back. Now it's Sturdivant between the rings. She's looking for a pick from India Jackson. She does get it, but she doesn't get to penetrate. There goes Dixon, pass to DK, knocked away. Sturdivant retrieves it. Still Bulldogs ball. Yusuf open, Dixon open from the right corner. Passes up the shot, gets it in the hands of Yusuf. Now it's right wing Dixon. Back to Sturdivant and they reset the offense. Back to Dixon at the right wing. Hightower playing a very effective 2-3 zone and Austin can't seem to get the ball in close for a high percentage shot. Yusuf thought about a three. She trips, the ball goes off her knee out of bounds and it's a turnover. Alana Narocker kind of surprised her with the aggressive defense and the ball went out right in front of the high tower bench. One minute to go in the first period and it's four to three high tower. There goes Nia Reed all the way to the hoop. Sturdivant guarding her. No good, she missed badly. Kelechi DK grabs the rebound for Austin. She's into the forecourt. Cross court pass to Sturdivant. She's guarded by Reed. Gets a pick from DK but can't get loose. Gets the ball in Dixon's hands. Now DK right corner. Gets the ball to Yusuf, thought about the three. Underhand pass to Sturdivant, now back to Yusuf. Dribbles to the left, now to the right, hands it to Sturdivant. She launches a three, off the glass and no good. Rebound Dixon, goes up strong and good. The putback score with 15 seconds to go, puts Austin up five to four. Here comes Hightower, Madison Bob into the forecourt, 10 seconds to shoot, spins near the paint. Gets the ball back to Boudouin Fuliaki, and now it's Madison Bob with a three at the buzzer. 
Hightower fans really thought that should have been a foul because on the play, the shooter went down, but there is no foul called. However, Hightower is up seven to five. After one quarter, we'll be back on VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County sports. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. First Class Service is what you get at First Tire and Automotive. Sweetheart deals this month include $40 off two tires with premium installation, but wait, even better, $100 off four tires with premium installation and free tire rotation with oil change service. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch to experience that first class service. Firsttireandauto.com. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max, and OfficeDepot.com. We want to thank the folks at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland, taking care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. This is a matchup that we saw coming weeks ago. It looks like nobody in District 26A could have a chance to beat Hightower unless their name is Austin. Nobody has a chance to beat Austin unless their name is Hightower or Elkins when Andrea Sturdivant is in concussion protocol and can't play. So Austin's only loss in district play was to Elkins. Hightower's only loss was to these Bulldogs. Second quarter coming your way. It is 7-5, Hightower on top of Austin. Roger Smith with you for the first of four games we'll have for you on VitefortBend.com this week. DK takes the inbounds pass. Quickly back to Sturdivant from just beyond the free throw line. And the rebound comes down to Hightower as Alana Narocker gets it. Quickly down the floor. There goes Madison Bob. Now inside, Chandler Preston Caver. Spin move off the glass. And it's a four point lead for Hightower. Their biggest of the game. They're working nine to five. Now a foul in the paint, a blocking foul on Hightower. I think it's called on Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki. It is not in the act of shooting. And so it's Austin Ball. India Jackson takes the inbounds pass. Now it is Dixon looking for a three, looking at the right elbow, still dribbling. Now gets it to DK, holds the ball over her head, trying to get it into Jackson. She does. Pump fake gets her defender in the air and scores the easy layup. Austin gets within nine to seven. Nia Reed brings it up the floor as the Austin fans chant D up. Reed passes it to Bourgeois Foliaki and now down the baseline and into the paint goes Chandler Preston Caver and she scores to make it 11 to seven. Hightower gets back its biggest lead of four points. Sturdivant drives in close, gives the ball up to DK. She gave it back to Andrea, now back to DK, trying to find a shot. Now it is Yusuf trying to get the ball inside to DK again. But now to the top of the key, they reset with Dixon. Dixon sends it back to Yusuf. They're trying to get a little isolation on the left side of the floor for the offense. DK moving in, little baby hook, puts it up, rattles around, no good, rebound Hightower. Chandler Preston Caver comes down with it. Long pass to Bourgeois Foliaki, and she scores. It's a 13-7 lead for Hightower. 6.23 to go in the, in the first half. And we'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. The Bulldogs have to talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Fast just got a whole lot faster. Xfinity has the fastest internet with up to 6 gig speed. Plus, Xfinity Mobile is the fastest mobile service with 5G and millions of Wi-Fi hotspots. You heard that right. Xfinity just increased internet speeds again. And Xfinity Mobile gives you can't-catch-me speeds. The fastest internet, the fastest mobile service, and major savings? Can't argue with the facts. Now through March 21st.
New customers can get started with 1.2 gig internet with unlimited data included. It's all just $50 a month for two full years with no annual contract when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data at regular rates. Go to Xfinity.com slash faster. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After 24 months, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. We're back to action. Austin puts a quick shot up coming out of the timeout. It's missed by Sturdivant, but India Jackson, the rebound for the Lady Dogs. And Yusuf, a three. Good. That's what they needed coming out of the timeout. It is now 13 to 10, Hightower on top. And Austin with a little bit of pressure in the backcourt. But now the ball in the hands of Alana Narocker, and she brings it across the midcourt stripe. Austin coming out in a man-to-man -man defense. That always sounds a little bit strange when you're watching a girls game. Alana Narocker moving to her right, pulls up at the right elbow and passes off to Nia Reed. Nia Reed can't find her shot inside. Kylie Wujbon Foliaki shoots the two. No good, rebound out of bounds. Last touched by Hightower. Nia Reed got a hand on it as she was battling with Amina Dixon for the board. Five and a half minutes to go in the half. Tomorrow night we have the same two schools playing boys basketball in Missouri City. Join us for that one, 6.45 p.m. Yusuf thought about a three from the right corner. Dribbled to her left and killed the dribble. Inside pass to DK, somehow got it to her. Now it's on the other side in the corner. Dixon drives inside the three-point arc, kills her dribble, and a pass to Yusuf. Ball knocked away, but Sturdivant recovers. Now Dixon, three from the corner. In and out, no good. Rebound, Bob, of these Hightower Hurricanes. She's going to go coast to coast, or is she? She turns around, shoots a three from the right wing. It's way long and no good. DK grabs the rebound. She dribbles all the way down the floor. She goes into the paint. She took one extra step. And that's a turnover. And we have a substitution as Tiana Coulter-Hill comes into the game. She started. She is out there along with Narocker. Bujuan Foliaki. Nia Reed and... Uh, who did I miss? Madison Bob. 13 to 10 high tower. Four and a half minutes to go in the half. Ball poked away from Preston Caver. Ball went out of bounds and I guess it went off of her instep. And as a result, Austin has it. Down by three. There goes Sturdivant near the top of the key. Steps back, three on the way, off the back iron, no good. Rebound comes down to Hightower. Chandler Preston Caver could have had it. Well, she did have it. Nia Reed could have had it. Reed now has the basketball. Sturdivant swatting at it. Can't get it out of her possession. Reed wants to start dribbling. There he goes. She goes to the right. Little bounce pass. Now Madison Bob. Correction. Narocker dribbles it off her foot, but she recovers it. Nia Reed has it. Looks like Hightower wants to slow the pace a little bit. Now a bounce pass to Narocker. She's guarded by Dixon. Kills her dribble. Sends it to the baseline. Coulter Hill looking for a shot. Gives it up to Madison Bob. Into the paint she goes. Hit as she shoots. No call. Rebound comes down to Sturdivant of the Bulldogs. Two on two. There goes Sturdivant. Backdoor layup. Good. Now Austin is within one. It is 13 to 12. By the way, fans, Todd Freed of H-Town High School Sports is in the house. We'll see highlights of this one on his show, 10 o'clock Saturday night on CW39. A move into the paint by Nia Reed of Hightower, and she draws the foul. But it'll be an on-the-floor foul. According to the scoreboard, that is just the second foul committed by the Bulldogs in this first half in Hightower has only committed four. I compliment the, on, the officials on letting these two teams play. Reed to throw it in. Gets it to Bourgeois Foliaki, looking for a shot, and India Jackson poked it away, and as Bourgeois Foliaki tried to recover it, she knocked it out of bounds. So it's another turnover for Hightower. Now Hightower is pressing, pass into DK, back to Yusuf, now Sturdivant. 
Sturdivant is into the forecourt. Driving all the way to the paint. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Three Hightower Hurricanes had a chance to get the ball. Nia Reed is down at the bottom of the scrum. She has it. It's a held ball. And the arrow gives it to Austin. 2.55 left in the half. Austin trying to get the lead back. They trail 13 to 12. Hightower has led most of this game. Sturdivant to throw it in along the baseline. Looking, looking, looking. Gets it inside to Jackson. Couldn't catch it clean. Now back to DK. Drives to the left elbow. Back to Sturdivant. Three on the way. No good. Rebound Jackson. Goes up strong. No good. Rebound Hightower. Madison Bob pulls it down. Quickly down the floor they go. Chandler, Preston, Caver. Oh, tough luck shot, no good. But it's followed in by Madison Bob. Yes siree Bob, or should be yes ma'am Bob. And it's good, 15 to 12, Hightower on top. 2.23 to go in the half. Yusuf holds the ball over her head. Dribbles slowly to her left, beckoning a teammate, and that is Dixon. She throws a cross court pass to Dixon. He's trying to get it in the hands of Sturdivant. Now it's back to Yusuf on the right side. Yusuf killed her dribble, gets it to Sturdivant. Sturdivant pulls up, three-pointer, in and out, no good. Rebound, Bob for Hightower. Long pass to Bujavan Foliaki. Layup good, she was ahead of everyone. Austin is not getting back on defense. And one thing about Austin, they usually play six, maybe seven players. And if you run, run, run them to death, I think they might have a problem. Right there, they didn't get back on defense. Dixon now has it, dribbling with just over a minute and a half to go. Little Euro step move, puts the ball up, no good. Knocked out of her hands by Nia Reed. Hightower has it, leading by five. Nia Reed moves to her right. Dixon steals it, gets it to start of it. Looking down the floor, there's DK, puts it up, two and a foul. And they either got Nia Reed on the foul or Jaya Johnson. I'm not sure who's going to be considered the guilty party. By the way, fans, uh, I was going to tell you about that issue with the laptop and not having something to, uh, you know, keep the electrical power going. We're just going on the battery and it's running low. I don't think we're gonna get through this game. But if that is the case, I'm going to use my little recording device and I'll record critical moments the rest of the way and we will tack that on and you will be able to listen to a virtually full recording of this game. <laughs> 17 to 14 is our score. And at the free throw line for Hightower is Jaya Johnson. She misses the first of two free throws. Now that I've told you about the electronic issues, I can get back to the game. It is 17-14 Hightower. Make that 18-14 Hightower as she makes the second one. A Little bit of pressure on DK in the backcourt. Sturdivant, now DK, now Dixon. Back to DK, they're not in the forecourt yet. Now, now they are. Dixon, Yusuf, right corner three, no good. Rebound to Hightower, one and done. The rocker grabs it, gets it to Madison Bob. Quickly down the floor goes Bob, picked up by Sturdivant. 50 seconds to go in the half. Bob spins and she walked. As Tom Petty said in song a long time ago, watch her walk. That was during the song, Here Comes My Girl. Austin inbounds the ball, trailing 18-14. Dixon into the forecourt. She is double team, still dribbling, gets it to Sturdivant. Sturdivant meets a double team. She dribbles out of it, all the way to the rack. She scores. 18-16. Austin splitting two defenders as Andrea Sturdivant, just a sophomore. Wow, she's a great player. 20 seconds to go in the half. 18-16 Hightower, and the Lady Canes can go for the last shot, perhaps. Top of the key, Bourgeois Foliaki moves down the left side of the lane, kicks it back out to Bob, left corner three. She double dribbled. 
Seven seconds to go. And Austin will have a chance to tie or take the lead in the final 7.1. Yusuf throws the ball to DK. DK down the near sideline. Inside to Jackson, the pass was too hot. It's out of bounds. Hightower will get it back and they'll have a three second opportunity. Jaya Johnson quickly in to Preston Caver, launches it from beyond midcourt and I think uh, Sturdivant got a hand on it. What an action packed first half, 18 to 16. It is Hightower on top of Austin. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Owl to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUCAPP to 313131 for Next Level Urgent Care. Hey, Fort Bend County fans, this is Bradley Stavenal with Neville Insurance Agency. Bradley is my insurance man. He can save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every year on your car insurance, home insurance, or flood insurance, or all three like he did for me. And Bradley, you are as Fort Bend County as they come, right? That's right. Fourth generation here in the Neville area in Fort Bend County, uh, taking care of folks over here for over 100 years here in uh, Fort Bend County. You can give him a call, you can go online, or he'll even come see you at the Needville Insurance Agency. Give him the number, Bradley. 979-793-7411. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Fast just got a whole lot faster. Xfinity has the fastest internet with up to 6 gig speed. Plus, Xfinity Mobile is the fastest mobile service with 5G and millions of Wi-Fi hotspots. You heard that right. Xfinity just increased internet speeds again. And Xfinity Mobile gives you can't-catch-me speeds. The fastest internet, the fastest mobile service, and major savings? Can't argue with the facts. Now through March 21st, new customers can get started with 1.2 gig internet with unlimited data included. It's all just $50 a month for two full years with no annual contract when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data at regular rates. Go to Xfinity.com slash faster. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After 24 months, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Class Service. First Tire and Automotive. First Class Service is what you get at First Tire and Automotive. Sweetheart deals this month include $40 off two tires with premium installation. But wait, even better, 
$100 off four tires with premium installation and free tire rotation with oil change service. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch to experience that first class service. Firsttireandauto.com. Back inside the gym at Austin, just over five and a half minutes to go before we resume this basketball game. It is the championship game, effectively, of District 26A girls basketball. But it's just the four, uh, the first of four games that we're going to have this week. So let me tell you what is coming your way. Tomorrow night at 6.45 p.m., we will come your way from Hightower. It's the boys game between Austin and the Hurricanes. Then on Friday night, Kempner at Marshall. The Marshall Buffs, ranked number three in the state in Class 5A boys basketball. Oh, they are looking good for Coach Ronnie Courtney. Just imagine, Ronnie Courtney, two times a state championship head coach at Willow Ridge. Once a state championship head coach at Bush. And now he has an opportunity with an outstanding Marshall team. I think they are the class of Region 3 and have a very good chance to get to San Antonio. Can you imagine Ronnie Courtney, who already has racked up more than 700 wins as a high school head coach, getting a fourth state championship? That tells me that if Fort Bend ISD ever decides to uh, build a basketball palace, volleyball palace as well, you know, a really, really nice arena on par with the Berry Center over at Cyfair, you've got to call it Ronnie Courtney Arena whether he wins another state championship or not. It's just got to be. But I certainly hope the Buffs can enable me to go all the way to San Antonio and broadcast two games and bring home that uh, wonderful, wonderful trophy. Okay, and the fourth game that we'll be bringing you this week is an Austin Bulldogs boys game. They will be taking on Dulles. One o'clock on Saturday afternoon. We will come your way at 12.45 p.m with that basketball game. I want to thank a couple of special people, Rosie Bega and Suna Venkat there inside the mothership at Vipe World Headquarters. Every once in a while we have issues with Wi-Fi or with getting the laptop to decide that it doesn't want to snarl and snap at, um, at the, um, the Wi-Fi. Every once in a while we have a problem and you know how Murphy's Law goes? It seems like it is more likely to cause a problem when it's a really, 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 really big game. And this is the biggest regular season game I could possibly imagine in Fort Bend ISD girls basketball as both teams are 14 and one. And I, I intended to bring with me a little thing where I had some information about the rankings, but I believe I failed to do that. But the thing is, You've got Hightower in the state rankings, a, a two spots ahead of, of Austin. I believe that uh, Hightower is, you know, since I didn't bring the paper with me, sorry, uh, but it's in the Texas Association of Basketball Coaches poll. They are either at fourth or fifth, something like that, and Summer Creek's in there as well. They're in the top 10. And Hightower is in the top 10, but they are two spots behind. I'm sorry, Austin is in the top 10, even though they beat Hightower earlier this year. And they are, I think, two slots, maybe three slots behind Hightower. Of course, when the playoffs begin early next week, it won't matter at all where you're ranked. It's survive in advance. That's what it's all about. The two teams are on the court warming up, getting ready for the final 16 minutes. We might even have more minutes than that if this one goes to overtime. And I want to remind you that Todd Freed, our good friend, is in the house. He's shooting video. And highlights of this game will be on H-Town High School Sports, 10 p.m. on Saturday night on CW39. And that program will rerun three or four more times during the week on AT&T Sportsnet. All right, we'll take a break and be back. 1816 Hightower, a minute away from starting the second half. So, the other day, I bought an extremely chatty. Boring story time! <clears throat> 
make that an extremely catty cockatoo. You're welcome. Apparently, the pet store won't take it back. But hey, I'll manage. I love that for you. Just like I manage without home internet. No, you don't. Sure, my mobile hotspot is slow and makes streaming shows unbearable. Oh, but he likes to stream. But I'm making do. Oh no, who's this? <laughs> my lady friend. It's mating season, duh. No home internet? It's not that bad. No, 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 not there. It is that bad. Don't settle. Get Xfinity Home Internet for just $19.99 a month for one year with a free streaming box. Call, click, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. After 12 months, regular rates apply. Offer ends 221-23. Here inside the gym, in peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek, it's the Austin Bulldogs and the Hightower Hurricanes. Two girls teams that have been ma magnificent this year. Only two losses for Austin, only three for Hightower, and those came to only state-ranked teams, Barbers Hill in Class 5A, Pearland in Class 6A, and of course these Austin Bulldogs. We are underway, and on the first possession for Hightower, it's a turnover. They bounced a pass after off one of the thighs of an Austin Bulldogs player, Amina Dixon. Three-point try at the other end, it's no good. Rebound to Jaya Johnson, or Jaya Johnson, rather. Thank you to uh, Coach Brewer for giving me pronunciations. One shot missed and done for Hightower as they come down with their second offensive possession. It is still 18-16. Hightower is leading the Austin Bulldogs. The Bulldogs won the first meeting on January 6th, 26-23. There goes Sturdivant. Her pass is deflected near the elbow. She gets it back and dribbles again. Preston Caver on her. Now she gives it back to Dixon. Top of the key, drives straight down the lane. Puts it up too hard, no good. Jaya Johnson had a hand on the rebound, but Dixon picked it off and puts in the 10-foot leaner from the right side off glass. And we are tied at 18. Jaya Johnson brings it up with no press put on by Austin. She's giving instructions to her teammate. I'm trying to read her lips. I can't possibly hear her in this very loud gym. There goes Bujuan Foliaki into the paint. And she drew a foul from either India Jackson or Manal Yusuf. It is Yusuf. No, it is Jackson. 3-0, not 0-3. By the way, if you're listening to this game live, don't be upset when the signal goes away. Please. But it is my fault as the first free throw by Bujuman Foliaki is no good. Kylie will get one more. Six and a half minutes to go in the third. It's 18 to 18. And the second shot also misses. India Jackson brings down the glass, but a throw away. She tried to throw it to Sturdivant and Madison Bob steals it. And now Sturdivant steals it back. Quick pass over to Yusuf, thought about the three, killed her dribble. Now Sturdivant, now DK, just inside the three-point arc. Her two-pointer is way short, but she grabs the rebound, follows it up, no good. Rebound comes down to Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki. Quickly down the floor, Chandler Preston Caver, spin move, puts it up, short. No good, rebound India Jackson for Austin. Ball loose, fight for the ball. And it's two girls on the floor. And it's a held ball and it will belong to the Bulldogs. That was rough. Okay, we got a whistle so we can have a substitution. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki comes out for Hightower and Alana Narocker comes in. Under six minutes to go in this third period. Sturdivant, three, up and no good. She's fouled from behind. I said three, but actually her foot was on the line. It was a two-pointer, so she will get two shots from the foul line. And I didn't see who the foul was on. Sturdivant, 
First free throw good, the dogs are in the lead, 19-18. Austin without a deep bench. They have three players on their bench and they rarely call those players into a very important game such as this. They go with five the whole time. Sturdivant made the second free throw. It is 20 to 18. Austin on top. Madison Bob guarded by DK. Gets it over there in the hands of Narocker. She kills her dribble. Sturdivant harassing her. Now gets it to Nia Reed through the paint, goes up. She is fouled by India Jackson. And she'll get two shots. Nia Reed taking it right at the toughest rim protector that Austin has. Nia Reed's first free throw, back iron, couple of bounces and it rolls off no good. Got some Austin students, all of them girls from the sub-varsity teams, reading newspapers while Nia Reed shoots the second free throw. It is also missed, so they didn't miss anything. India Jackson gets it to Sturdivant, meets a double team in the front court. The ball almost stolen, but off the hands of Narocker, out of bounds. Austin will keep it. Madison Bob is sitting on the floor waiting for a teammate to come help her up, which Nia Reed does. 5.18 to go in the third. Yusuf gets it to DK. DK is open, but does not shoot the three. Now she's inside the three-point arc. Kills her dribble in the corner. Inside pass to Dixon. Back to DK. Good. Beautiful give and go. 22 to 18, Austin leads in Hightower, wants a timeout, we'll take it with him. This is VibeFortBend.com. Hey, Fort Bend County fans, this is Bradley Stavenal with Neville Insurance Agency. Bradley is my insurance man. He can save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every year on your car insurance, home insurance, or flood insurance, or all three like he did for me. And Bradley, you are as Fort Bend County as they come, right? That's right. Fourth generation here in the Needville area in Fort Bend County, uh, taking care of folks over here for over 100 years here in uh, Fort Bend County. You can give him a call. You can go online or he'll even come see you at the Needville Insurance Agency. Give him the number, Bradley. 979-793-7411. NeedvilleInsurance.com. That's just one of the ways you can reach Bradley Stavanaugh. He can help you save money, hundreds if not thousands of dollars each year on your car, home, and flood insurance, or all three like he did for me. And his number is 979-793-7411 or log on to NeedvilleInsurance.com. We've got 5.02 to go in the third. This is going to be an exhausting game. It started at a little bit after 5.30 p.m. But nobody's thinking about dinner right now. This is a huge game. Chandler, Preston Caver walking the ball up for Hightower. Picked up by Manal Yusuf just as she crosses the midcourt circle. Now Madison Bob on the right wing. And DK trying to stay with her, and she steps back and shoots a three that hits glass, but that's all. Rebound to Austin, and Sturdivant, top of the key, drives into the paint. She's tripped, goes down. That'll be a foul on Hightower. I think they're going to get Alana Narocker. Two fouls in this second half by both teams after that one. It'll just be Austin bringing the ball in along the baseline. Sturdivant breathing hard. She plays pretty much every minute of every game when the the outcome is still in doubt. I think she welcomes just throwing it in. She doesn't have to run around. Quickly into DK, inside the lane, turning around, can't find a shot, kicks it back out to Yusuf near the top of the key who gets it in the hands of Sturdivant. Reed guarding Sturdivant. Andrea dribbling, 
Steps back, can't shoot the three. Yusuf has a three. It is good! 25 to 18, biggest lead for Austin. Seven point margin. <clears throat> Jaya Johnson into the forecourt for Hightower. There she goes inside the free throw circle, kicks it back out, Nia Reed drives in and her foot slipped. That was a bad break for Hightower. Sturdivant with it, DK pulls up and she double dribbled. So a tough break for Hightower. As Nia Reed was looking like she might have an open shot, her foot slips out from under her. She loses the ball, but at the other end, Austin kind of reacting to the aggressive defense of Hightower performed a double dribble. And we're taking a moment here to wipe up the sweat that ended up on the floor when Nia Reed slipped down. All right, Hightower brings it up. No pressure from Austin. 25-18, the Bulldogs lead it. Nia Reed gives it up to Chandler Preston Caver. There goes Nia Reed. She goes up and is foul and scores. I think they're going to call Sturdivant. Yep, Andrea Sturdivant commits the foul. 3.38 to go in the third. And with a free throw to complete the old fashioned three point play, Nia Reed can bring her team within 25 to 21. Wearing the coral colored high tops. Good. We've got a two possession game. Amina Dixon throws it ahead to Sturdivant into the forecourt. She meets a double team as she advances toward the corner. Now Dixon goes through the free throw lane, kills her dribble to Yusuf on the left wing. Steps inside the arc, now dribbling. She's close. High tower fans wanted a violation. And now we have a timeout taken by the dogs. We'll take it with them. This is VikeFortBend.com. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. First Class Service is what you get at First Tire and Automotive. Sweetheart deals this month include $40 off two tires with premium installation, but wait, even better, $100 off four tires with premium installation and free tire rotation with oil change service. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch to experience that first class service. Firsttireandauto.com. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Ow to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUC. APP to 313131 for next level urgent care. All right, we are back inside the gym at Austin. It's a four point game. Bulldogs lead it. This is for the championship, the top seed of District 26A. Amina Dixon drives inside the three point arc. Turns around near the baseline, gets the ball in India Jackson's hands. Now Sturdivant, now Yusuf, back to Sturdivant, top of the key. Amina Dixon, right key, uh, right wing rather, moves toward the corner, backing up, can't find the open shot. Now a long pass to Sturdivant, three on the way off the side of the rim, no good. Dixon grabs the rebound, but she has it stripped away. Tiana Coulter Hill took it from her, and here comes Hightower, trailing by four. Jaya Johnson dribbling with the right hand, guarded by Dixon. Gets it to Nia Reed. DK is on her. Gets a pick. Launches one at two pointer. Misses everything. And a beautiful job by Kylie Bojuan Foliaki to keep it alive. Gets it to a teammate. But two close shots missed. And two girls on the floor Manal Yusuf of Austin and Kylie Bojuan Foliaki of Hightower. 
The arrow favors Hightower. Jaya Johnson slaps the ball, bounce pass into Bourgeois Foliaki, backs up while dribbling, and a pass inside stolen by Sturdivant, quickly ahead to DK, she's ahead of everyone, her layup is good, and she's fouled by Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki. She will go to the line. She hit the floor hard, but I'm sure it hurt so good for Kalechi DK. 2.17 to go in this third quarter and the lead is back up to six, could be seven if DK hits the free throw here. Taking their time. DK with one free throw and the official says play it if it's missed. Taking her time in the air. No good, rolled off. India Jackson, the rebound, puts it up. It rolls off, no good. Rebound, Madison Bob of Hightower. Long pass down the floor to Preston Caver. Turns around, throws it back to Nia Reed. Drives inside, off the glass too hard. And a shot put up, no good by Brianna Shelby. And she is fouled in the act of shooting. Actually, she's fouled before she put the shot up. So Hightower will inbound underneath the basket at which they're shooting here in the second half. 2.03 to go in the third. Jaya Johnson throws it in. Madison Bob drives around a defender, puts it up. A nice little floater over DK from about 12 feet out. 27-23 is the Bulldog lead and Sturdivant loses it. It's gonna be Austin Ball. Hightower thought that Sturdivant touched it. Got a fingernail or a fingertip on it before it went out, but the official said, last touched by the Canes. Jaya Johnson shaking her head. S-M-H or S-H-H. Here goes Sturdivant trying to get around Johnson. Dixon near the top of the key. Jaya Johnson switches over and starts guarding her now. Madison Bob, taller than Andrea Sturdivant, follows Andrea to her right. Now DK in the right corner. Nobody really on her, long pass, Dixon launches a three, good! 30 to 23, the Bulldogs up by seven and that matches their biggest lead with just over a minute to go in the third. Jaya Johnson to Nia Reed, driving in on Dixon. Reed kills her dribble in the right corner, trying to find someone and now timeout taken by Hightower, we'll take it with them. This is VibeFortBend.com. So, the other day, I bought an extremely chatty... Boring story time! <clears throat> make that an extremely catty cockatoo. You're welcome! Apparently, the pet store won't take it back. But, hey, I'll manage. I love that for you! Just like I manage without home internet. No, you don't! Sure, my mobile hotspot is slow and makes streaming shows unbearable. Oh, but he likes to stream! But I'm making do. Oh no, who's this? <laughs> No home internet? It's not that bad. No, 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 not there. It is that bad. Don't settle. Get Xfinity Home Internet for just $19.99 a month for one year with a free streaming box. Call, click, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. After 12 months, regular rates apply. Offer ends 2 23 all right, 102 to go in the fourth, I'm sorry, the third. 30-23, Austin on top. Jaya Johnson throwing it in from the sideline. Bounce pass, knocked out by Amina Dixon. Clapping, uh, not right in the face of Nia Reed, but not too far from her face. So Jaya Johnson will now throw it, throw it in from the sideline, but closer to the corner, right here in front of us. And she gets it into Reed, right back to Johnson. Bounce pass, and it's Brianna Shelby going up strong and draws the foul from India Jackson. So free throw opportunities for Hightower to get closer before we get to the fourth quarter. Hightower does have more depth than Austin, but not a whole lot more depth. 
Shelby's free throw, back iron, high bounce and off, no good. She steps up there again for her second try. Off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound, DK throws it back into Dixon, but stolen away by Jaya Johnson. Madison Bob thought about the three, dribbles forward, side to side now, moving in on DK, pulls back, shoots from the free throw line and off glass. Oh, great defense by DK, but she made it anyway. What a shot by Madison Bob. 38 seconds to go in the quarter. 30 to 25, high tower trailing, and they steal it away from Sturdivant. It's Jaya Johnson. Quickly ahead to Chandler. There she goes, back door layup, no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Brianna Shelby of Hightower. I should have said Chandler Preston Caver. I knew she had a hyphenated last name and I knew the last part was Caver, but I knew I had to say both. So uh, I double dribbled there, sorry. 24 seconds to go. Austin inbounding and leading by five near the end of the quarter. Sturdivant gets it to Yusuf. Yusuf into the forecourt. Back to Sturdivant. Looking for an opportunity. Yusuf gets a defender in the air. Drives in for a two-pointer. Off the rim, no good. Rebound. Comes down to Bob of Hightower. Seven seconds to go. Here comes Madison. Sturdivant meets her. She launches one. No, she doesn't. It's Nia Reed from the top of the key. Short. That's the end of the third quarter, 30 to 25. Austin hanging on to the lead and the Austin crowd letting Mia Reed know about it. It was an air ball. We'll be back. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. First Class Service is what you get at First Tire and Automotive. Sweetheart deals this month include $40 off two tires with premium installation, but wait, even better, $100 off four tires with premium installation and free tire rotation with oil change service. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch to experience that first class service. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. VibeFortBend.com coverage of Fort Bend County High School Sports brought to you by Archer Volkswagen. Next Level Urgent Care, the Needville Insurance Agency, First Tyron Automotive, and by Xfinity. Xfinity Mobile is the best kept secret in wireless. Eight minutes to go in regulation and Austin in a dead flat footed tie with these high tower hurricanes for first place in the district going into this the final regular season game has a 30 to 25 lead. Sturdivant gets it for Austin as they start the third quarter. Dixon, a three-pointer three from the left corner is no good off the back iron. Rebound to Madison Bob. There she goes for Hightower. Kills her dribble near the free throw line. Back out to Jaya Johnson. Nia Reed thinking three. Goes around India Jackson. Puts up the layup and it's good. Jackson had to be careful. She couldn't afford to get another foul. She got three. Sturdivant trips as she drives the right restraining line on the side of the free throw lane. She goes down kind of awkwardly and Nia Reed was underneath her. Nia Reed limping a little bit but there's no way she's coming out of this game. It's just Austin inbounding it. The dogs have committed five fouls in the second half and Hightower only four. Into India Jackson goes around Reed. Back out to Dixon, passes up the three. DK, two-pointer from the free throw line, no good. Rebound goes out of bounds. And they're giving it to Hightower. That makes LaQuisha Dickerson, the Bulldogs head coach, come away from the bench area. She's very upset. She's wearing some very beautiful red heels, spiked heels. All right, into the forecourt. 
There is Hightower and it's a traveling call on Alana Narocker. She made a move and didn't start dribbling soon enough. Narocker comes out of the game, very disappointed that she committed that violation and Austin throws it in. Yusuf to DK, picked up by Reed near the midcourt stripe. Kills the dribble in the right corner. Now Dixon, right elbow. India Jackson, wide open inside, gets it poked away. And Madison Bob gets it poked away by Austin. Hightower will have it. The Lady Canes are only down three with 7.03 to go. Now they have it. Chandler, Preston, Caver. Not being pressured as she walks across the midcourt circle. Yusuf picks her up. She dribbles to her, le her left. Now gives to Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki. Spin move into the paint. She double dribbled and she knows it. India Jackson is whispering a little sweet nothing into her ear as they walk back to the other end of the floor. Yusuf to throw it in for Austin. Gets it to DK. Back to Yusuf. Yusuf into the forecourt. Hightower in that 2-3 zone. DK has it. Just dribbling slowly, not really being guarded. Nia Reed now comes out on her. DK moves to her right down the sideline, past the corner, and a pass to the left corner in and out of the hands of Yusuf. The pass was off target. That's one where DK has to tap herself on the clavicle and say, my bad. It is still just a one possession game, 30 to 27. Hightower trailing Austin. We're on the Bulldogs home floor. This is for top seed in the playoffs. What a great season for these two teams, both ranked in the top 10 of class 6A girls basketball. Jaya Johnson trying to get away from Sturdivant, still dribbling, moves to her left. Underneath, Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki puts it in on a fadeaway. She had to go around India Jackson, who's an imposing figure down in the low post and she made it drop, it's a one point game, 30 to 29. Yusuf throws the ball away and her defender slams the ball against the floor that Chandler Preston Caver thought she had a clean steal. I don't know if we're gonna have a technical foul here or not, two officials are talking to each other to try and figure out if that's the appropriate adjudication of what just happened. There are simultaneous chants. There is a technical foul called on Hightower as Chandler Preston Caver, after the whistle indicated that she was called for a foul, she slammed the ball off the floor, but Sturdivant goes to the line and misses the first of her free throws. It's a two shot technical, the second one is good. 31 to 29, Austin leads it. The foul, by the way, was not of the shooting variety because it was only the fifth foul of the second half by Hightower. So Austin will inbound from the near sideline and you won't get a cozier situation between the front row of the bleachers and the sideline than you do here in the gym at Austin. Those, high, those uh, Austin cheerleaders, there are two, four, six, eight, ten of them, and they are in a little space that is six feet from wall to baseline. We got a timeout. We'll take it with them. This is VibeFortBend.com. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Ow to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUC. APP to 313131 for Next Level Urgent Care. 
Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All right, 5.45 to go. And we haven't really decided anything, although the Bulldogs do have a two-point lead. Roger Smith, along with the prayerful Rosie Vega, she's inside the mothership at Vipe World headquarters, praying that our battery on our laptop will hold out. All right, Yusuf to throw it in. Looking, looking, looking. Now gets it into Sturdivant. Quickly over to Dixon. And now aggressive defense by Hightower. Yusuf a three from the right corner. No good. Rebound, Dixon. Now Sturdivant has it. Left wing. I think she'd like to let go a three, but she's going to take her time. We're under five and a half minutes to go. Two-point lead for Austin. Dixon now to DK. India Jackson a long way from the hoop, and it's Dixon in the left corner. Inside to DK. Turns around. Gets the ball knocked out of her hands. Quick hands by Kylie Bujuan foliaki Yusuf slaps the ball. Throwing it in from the baseline into India Jackson. Her shot rolls off. She blew the bunny. Rebound Hightower. Madison Bob bringing it right down the middle of the floor. Into the paint. Now throws it over into the corner. Preston Caver. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound Jackson. Five minutes to go and Austin leads by two. Sturdivant puts a move on Jaya Johnson. Puts it up from the left side off the glass. She had almost run too far. Four point lead. And now the ball is knocked away. Picked up by Dixon. She's into the four court for Austin. Dogs by four. Yusuf wants to shoot but throws it inside but the ball is knocked away. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki with quick hands knocking away a pass that would have gotten to India Jackson. Yusuf to throw it in for the dogs. Gets it in to DK. She puts it up from in close. Misses. Rebounds. Puts it up. Draws a foul. That makes it 35 to 29, and she will go to the line to try and match the biggest Bulldog lead. Seven points. They've had that lead two times earlier. Four and a half minutes to go. DK shot is good. Jaya Johnson with it. The Lady Canes have won seven straight. Austin has won four straight. There is the move by Preston Caver. She is fouled by Yusuf, number three. Fouls number three. And that is the sixth foul of the half on the Bulldogs. Hightower has committed seven. Nia Reed throws it in. Chandler Preston Caver near the top of the key. Looking for a teammate, now dribbles to the left elbow. Gets it to Jaya Johnson, corner. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki throws it away. DK has it for Austin. Runs it down, kills her dribble, gets it to Sturdivant. I think LaQuisha Dickerson, Bulldogs head coach, wants them to slow down a little bit, be selective about the shot clock. Not clock, just the shot, period. And if Hightower's not gonna come out and press you on defense, then just uh, take a breather. There goes DK. She gets it knocked away. Madison Bob stole it. Two on one. There goes Bob over Sturdivant. Layup, no good. Rebound, but it's knocked out of bounds by DK. And Hightower will keep it, trailing by seven. The continued prayers of a righteous woman avail much. And I think Rosie Vega might even have her rosary beads with her to make our laptop last this game. Could be a classic. Quickly in to Nia Reed. Puts a move on Dixon, puts it up. Blew it from in close. And the rebound, India Jackson. Now Dixon 
Has the ball on the right side now to DK. I heard a little tone. I think it means I'm about to run out of uh, battery juice. So I'm going to look away from the action and I'm going to click battery saver. I'm not going to tell you what's going on on the court because I'm going to, oh, it says 19%. That doesn't, oh, we're all right. Why am I worried? Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we got time. We can do this as long as the little indicator, you know, is uh, if it's accurate, assuming it's accurate. Okay, now I'm gonna look up again. The score is the same, it's 36 to 29. And we've got a timeout, so we'll take it with them on VibeFortBend.com. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Fast just got a whole lot faster. Xfinity has the fastest internet with up to six gig speed. Plus, Xfinity Mobile is the fastest mobile service with 5G and millions of Wi-Fi hotspots. You heard that right. Xfinity just increased internet speeds again. And Xfinity Mobile gives you can't-catch-me speeds. The fastest internet, the fastest mobile service, and major savings? Can't argue with the facts. Now through March 21st, new customers can get started with 1.2 gig internet with unlimited data included. It's all just $50 a month for two full years with no annual contract when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data at regular rates. Go to Xfinity.com slash faster. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After 24 months, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. All right, hope springs eternal with the high tower faithful. 3.08 to go and their team trails by seven. The Lady Canes do have the basketball. Chandler, Preston, Caver with it. Dribbles into the forecourt. They can't take too long or be too selective with shots. They just don't know how many more possessions they will have. Madison Bob, top of the key. Thought about the three, shoots over DK. It's in, she banked it off the glass. We got a four point game. 36-32, Sturdivant lost the ball. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki blew the layup. Knocked away by Reed, but DK recovers it for Austin. Gets it to Sturdivant. Sturdivant moving to her left, moving toward the left corner. Kills her dribble, throws it to Dixon. Dixon threw her a lifeline. That was lucky for the dogs, DK now Kills the dribble, she is double teamed, and now Dixon drives to the right elbow. Use of three from the left corner, short, no good. Rebound, Chandler Preston Caver knocked it out of bounds. On purpose, it might have led to an easy basket for Austin. I think she did that on purpose. With fans close enough to reach out and touch her, Yusuf throws it into Dixon between the rings. Dribbles to her right with Bob guarding her. Now to Yusuf, now back to Dixon. Bob still on her, gets a pick, but Dixon can't quite get free. Nia Reed picks her up. She's driving around Reed, now takes a reversal and goes back away from the hoop, gets it back to Sturdivant. We're under two minutes to go. One minute, 51 seconds. Kalechi DK with the basketball. She is waiting to be fouled. And she went over and back. She went over and back. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki was closing in on her and wasn't pushing her, but she kept moving away from her and she simply stepped on the midcourt stripe. And now Hightower fans, I'm not sure why, are asking for a technical foul to be called against maybe Coach Dickerson for getting too close. Jaya Johnson into Nia Reed, she lost it. Sturdivant picks it up, quickly ahead to DK. Johnson tries to defend her. The shot is missed. Rebound comes down to Bob. Bob quickly ahead. Chandler Preston Caver. Layup good. It's a two point game. Less than a minute and a half to go. Oh my goodness. Dixon to the right corner. Trying to dribble around Bob and a whistle. I think they call Madison Bob for the blocking foul. And that will mean free throws. We're in bonus time, baby. If you're a Bulldog fan, that means any foul committed by the defense, even if it's a non-shooting foul, 
still means free throws for your team and Amina Dixon is at the line to shoot a very critical one and one. She misses the first one, ball slapped out of bounds and it belongs to Hightower. Two point game, 119 to go. Bob guarded by Sturdivan in the backcourt. She's looking to dribble around Andrea. Gets into the forecourt, now hands it off to Reed. Clock at 110. Here goes Reed going around Dixon. And she experiences contact. She goes to the floor. Dixon will be called for the foul. It's a one and one, a non-shooting foul. Another thing about Austin, when they play with only five players, which is what they've done so far, no substitutions of any kind, you can get players in foul trouble. And then you might have to bring someone in off the bench who has not played at all. The Austin sub-varsity girls basketball players pull out the newspapers as Nia Reed stands there for a one and one. If she hits both, we're tied. Reed, first one, good. It's a home game for Austin, but I think the crowd is about 50-50. It is really, really loud in here. For the sake of our laptop, I sure hope we don't go to overtime. Normally, I'd say I love overtime. To tie it. Off the back iron, no good. And the rebound comes down to Kylie bourgeois foliaki Reed has it now. Hightower down by one with a chance to take the lead. Jaya Johnson guarded by DK, directing traffic under a minute to go. 51 seconds to be exact. Now Kylie bourgeois foliaki moving in on Jackson, puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound, goes out of bounds, and a whistle. And do we have a foul or a who touched it last situation? Uh, I'm not sure what we have. Well, I guess it's a foul on Hightower because they're walking down to the, the basket at which Austin shoots and Dixon is going to the line. I could have seen, sworn uh, that it was a foul on number 13 or number 31 for Hightower, but they don't have any such players. So I guess it was on Kylie bourgeois Foliaki and DK will shoot the free throws. Before she shoots, two officials talk to each other. 44 seconds to go. And Dixon is at the foul line. It is a one and one. Bulldogs lead by one, 36-35. First one is in the air. Off the back iron, no good rebound, DK. And she loses it, but Yusuf picks it up. Sturdivant three on the way, wait a minute. Timeout taken by the Bulldogs before Sturdivant shot it. She missed the shot anyway, so I guess it worked out well for Austin. They take a timeout and we'll take it with them on VibeFortBend.com. First, Class Service. First Tire and Automotive. First Class Service is what you get at First Tire and Automotive. Sweetheart deals this month include $40 off two tires with premium installation, but wait, even better, $100 off four tires with premium installation and free tire rotation with oil change service. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch to experience that first class service. Firsttireandauto.com. The players return to the floor for the final 37.9 seconds. Austin has the ball. They lead by one. Yusuf to throw it in near sideline. Oh, the passion. This is awesome. Yusuf not guarded. Throws it in to DK. Bounce pass to Sturdivant. Jaya Johnson on her. Sturdivant drives to the right. Drives into the paint. Puts up a wild one. It goes in. Oh, my goodness. Off the right side. Still a one possession game. Three point game. 
There goes Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki. She's fouled on her way to the hoop. She'll go to the free throw line for, I believe, two shots with 21.7 seconds to go. And it's three, it's a three point lead for Austin, 38 to 35. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki steps up. Eyes it, flies it, off the back iron, no good. One more. A lot of pressure on Kylie. She hits it, nothing but net. It's a two point game, Sturdivant brings the ball down the left sideline into the forecourt. Yusuf has it, now a pass that is picked off by Bob. Bob moving in on DK, puts it up. It's no good, it rolls off, and a held ball. Hightower will have it with 8.2 to go. Nia Reed and Andrea Sturdivant both had hands on the ball. The arrow favors Hightower. And Hightower wants a timeout before they run this play. We'll be back. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Just so you know, I got a little warning on my screen. It says, your battery is running low. I can't tell you how disappointed I am to hear that. I'm going to get something, though. Okay, so if we do run out of juice, I'm going to record the final play of this game. And uh, we'll tack it on to the podcast so you'll basically hear everything. All right. We'll reset for you. Eight and two tenths seconds to go. Hightower inbounding underneath the basket at which they're shooting. They're down 38 to 36. They got to move the cheerleaders back. Jaya Johnson to throw it in. Slaps the ball, looking for a teammate. Gets it in, inside, two-pointer, good! Mia Reed scores, here comes Austin. Sort of in far sideline. Cannot get a shot off. We are going to overtime. Oh, sweet mercy. We are going to overtime. And, uh, <laughs> you know how Murphy's Law works. I'm going to take a break. We'll do what we can to try and finish this game. So, the other day, I bought an extremely chatty... Boring story time! <clears throat> make that an extremely catty cockatoo. You're welcome! Apparently, the pet store won't take it back. But, hey, I'll manage... Just like I manage without home internet. No, you don't. Sure, my mobile hotspot is slow and makes streaming shows unbearable. Aw, oh, but he likes to stream. But I'm making do. Oh, no. Who's this? Ah, my lady friend. It's mating season, duh. No home internet? It's not that bad. No, 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 not there. It is that bad. Don't settle. Get Xfinity Home Internet for just $19.99 a month for one year with a free streaming box. Call, click, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. After 12 months, regular rates apply. Offer ends 2-21-23. Hey, Fort Bend County fans. This is Bradley Stavenal with Neville Insurance Agency. Bradley is my insurance man. He can save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every year on your car insurance, home insurance, or flood insurance, or all three like he did for me. And Bradley, you are as Fort Bend County as they come, right? 
That's right, fourth generation here in the Needville area in Fort Bend County, uh, taking care of folks over here for over 100 years here in uh, Fort Bend County. You can give him a call, you can go online, or he'll even come see you at the Needville Insurance Agency. Give him the number, Bradley. 979-793-7411. We are holding on. We're running out of juice. Oh, it's going to be a big disappointment to not be able to bring you the end of this thriller. Four minutes of overtime. And uh, if the battery lasts, then that will be the miracle at Pheasant Creek. All right. So the jump ball at the start of the overtime goes to Austin. Dixon throws it cross court to Sturdivant. She is between the rings, guarded by Jaya Johnson. There goes Sturdivant dribbling right.
are back through the miracle of my little recording device. We ran out of juice in the laptop in this classic game for the District 26A championship between Austin and Hightower, and it is still tied. It went to overtime, tied at 38. Now it's tied at 42, and with 47 seconds to go in the overtime, Andrea Sturdivant of Austin has just untied it. She will get one more foul shot. The Bulldogs have the benefit of being in the double bonus. She hit the second one as well. 44 to 42, Austin on top. Here comes Jaya Johnson of Hightower. Nia Reed, side to side dribble, trying to get free, and a timeout taken by your Hightower Hurricanes. And we'll keep it right here because, well, we don't have a laptop, therefore we can't play you a commercial. So we are rolling commercial free the rest of the way. So what we are going to do, well, I, I guess I'm saying this after the fact. We're going to take this recording of the end of the game and tack it on to the, uh, the part that we were able to get on the air. And that's in air quotes because when you're technically doing web radio, you're not on the air. There is no over-the-air signal. We'll take a quick break because when I make the recordings too long, they tend to uh, mess up. We'll be right back, and it'll be instantaneous for you. We're back, 41 and 7 tenths seconds to go. Hightower has the basketball, trailing by two, 44 to 42. Chandler Preston Caver to throw it in. No one is guarding her. Jaya Johnson receives the inbounds pass. She's between the rings, guarded by DK. Kills her dribble. Pivoting and now throws the ball to Madison Bob. Finds an opening toward the hoop. Her layup is good. We are tied again. 44 all. 25 seconds to go. Sturdivant dribbling the ball down the far sideline for Austin. Now she's into the front court. Timeout taken by the Austin Bulldogs, and we'll keep it right here. What a night. We have a postal carrier with an edible arrangement of some kind here. Swedish fish, Skittles. We have the announcer saying don't go out on the court after the game. But this is one of those storm the court situations. I don't know that they'll be able to keep that from happening. Especially if it's a buzzer beater. We got the Austin cheerleaders. They're saying, hey, pump it up, but do we really need to pump it up any more than it already is? 44 to 44 in overtime. Just seconds to go, and Austin has the basketball, and I'll be able to tell you exactly how many seconds they have. I think it's 24, thereabouts, give or take a second or two. All right, so see, they have the scoreboard clock telling you how long the timeout is. Okay, the scoreboard clock time remaining for Austin to get up what could be the winning shot is 19 and a tenth seconds. Manal Yusuf to throw it in, far sideline. The official bounces it to her. She finally gets it in to DK. DK not dribbling, looking to hand it off. 15 seconds to go. She gets it to Sturdivant. Sturdivant pivoting. Timeout again called by Austin. We'll take it with him. I don't want to bore you with non-action. 8.9 to go, 44 to 44. We're in overtime. The Bulldogs have inbounded the ball. It is DK who turns a long way from the basket, down the sideline, gets it to Sturdivant, moves toward the right corner, spinning, back to DK, launches one at the buzzer, it's no good. We're going to a second overtime. Great defense by Hightower. So we've played, let's see, I'm doing the math, 
36 minutes, and we're going to play at least 40. We'll be back. Okay, we have just fast-forwarded to 2.10 left in the first overtime. We are still, I'm sorry, the second overtime, and we are still tied 44 to 44. Now the two-minute mark. Austin has the basketball. Amina Dixon dribbling side to side. Gets it to Kalechi DK, who dribbles a little bit to her left with Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki following her. Now it is Jaya Johnson guarding Andrea Sturdivant. Sturdivant cuts to her left, tries to elbow the defender out of the way, can't do it. Give the ball up to DK. There goes Kalechi towards the baseline, jump stop move, and a miss and a rebound by Hightower. Alana Narocker grabbed it. Now Nia Reed making a move into the paint, spins, puts it up, it's good. 122 to go, and Hightower leads Austin 46-44. There goes Sturdivant, shoots from the free throw line, off the glass, too hard, no good. Rebound to Rocker. She walks it up. The clock is at 105. And now there is a throw away. Nia Reed cut toward the basket and the rocker threw it because she was expecting her to stay near midcourt. So Austin gets it back, trailing by two. 46 to 44. There goes DK. Lays it up off the glass. No good. And the rocker the rebound. Two huge rebounds in the last few seconds. The rocker all the way to the hoop. Jaya Johnson blew the bunny. And we have a foul call. There is a foul call. Hightower will get free throws, already leading 46-44 with 49 and 5 tenths to go in the game. In the second overtime, I should say. Jaya Johnson, both teams in the double bonus now, by the way. Her free throw is no good. Double bonus means she gets two shots no matter what. So if she makes this, it's still a one possession game and the Dodge would be down by three. It's no good. Rebound comes down to Bob. She gets it taken away by Sturdivant. And the foul is going to be on Hightower after Sturdivant got the ball. And I think they called it on Alana Narocker. Quick break. Okay, we're back. And um, the first free throw by Sturdivant is good to cut the lead to 46-45. And it was not Narocker who committed the foul. It was Madison Bob. So she's out of the game. That could be huge. Sturdivant, second free throw, nothing but net. We're tied at 46, and we've got 46 seconds to go. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki gets it to Nia Reed. Drives past Dixon and loses the ball. Tie game, 46 all, and Austin has it now. 38 seconds left, and they are 94 feet away from a possible game-winning basket. Start of it. Moves into the forecourt, dribbling. She's zigging and zagging, staying away from Jaya Johnson, who's shadowing her like a gumshoe. Now it's Yusuf who has it. Bourgeois Foliaki is on her. Now DK takes the ball. 15 seconds to go. Drives the baseline. Knocks the defender out of the way. Wait! No! She traveled! She traveled. It's not a basket. It's still tied. And now Hightower has it with 10 and 3 tenths seconds left. And now Hightower wants a timeout. I saw the official give the traveling signal. It could only be against Austin. And now we do have a timeout, and we'll go back to the future in a few seconds. Both teams in their timeout huddle. We're in the second overtime. 
It's 46 to 46. We went to the first overtime, tied at 38. So Hightower will have the basketball with 10 and 3 tenths seconds to go. A district championship is hanging in the balance. If Hightower can't score, then we'll go to a third overtime. It'll be Chandler Preston Caver to throw it in for Hightower. Austin is pressing. Caver throws it long to Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki. She drives in on Yusuf, puts it up, and a whistle. That only took three seconds. There's 7.1 to go. And Bujuan Foliaki will go to the line to try and break the tie. But unless she misses and one of her teammates gets a rebound, then Austin is going to have one more try with the basketball. First free throw in the air. Back iron, no good. She's nodding as her teammate at her teammates to say, I'm going to make the next one. Looking at the rim. In the air. Good. Austin calls timeout before the ball is inbounded. And I'm going to stay right here. This is a good time to tell you our next game is between Hightower and Austin, just the boys game in Missouri City Tuesday night. We come your way with the Next Level Urgent Care Countdown to Tip-Off show at 6.45 p.m. Then on Friday night, we've got Kempner going to Marshall. Again, 6.45 p.m. start of the Next Level Urgent Care Countdown to Tip-Off show. And then it's Austin Boys Basketball again on Saturday, 12.45 p.m. And we will have them against the Dulles Vikings. By the way, Todd Freed, our good friend, hosts H-Town High School Sports, powered by Vipe. He'll have a new program at 10 p.m. on Saturday night on CW39. Tune in, and if you don't, DVR it. And if you don't do either of those things, just know that AT&T Sportsnet, the same channel where you watch the Astros, they'll have several reruns during the week. Hightower girls talking to each other as they get back onto the floor. Kylie Bourgeois Foliaki saying to Jaya Johnson, don't foul. Austin has to go the length of the court. They're down by one. Yusuf to inbound the ball. Throws it in to India Jackson. Now back to Sturdivant. Sturdivant, three seconds in the lane. Puts it up. No good. Jackson has it. And there's the buzzer. Hightower survives. The Lady Canes are the district champions. They win 47 to 46. And the people are being fantastic. They've been asked several times to stay off the court, and they are. Well done, fans. Well done to both teams. Wow, what a ball game. Final score, 47 to 46. Hightower edges the Austin Bulldog girls. So the final district standings will show Hightower at the top with a record of 15 and 1, and Austin one game behind with a record of 14 and 2. But all is not lost for Austin. I know they badly wanted to win this game, but the, the winner of this game, which is Hightower, will face the loser of tonight's game between Cinco Ranch and Seven Lakes. And the Austin Bulldogs will face the winner of Cinco Ranch and Seven Lakes. So when you're the one seed like Hightower, you play the four seed out of the other district that you're partnered with. And if you're the second seed like Austin's girls are, you play the third seed. I'm Roger Smith. I'm so glad you joined me for this podcast. And I'm sorry about the adapter thing. We will not fail to finish any of our games this year. Good night, everybody, from peaceful, bucolic Pheasant Creek.